Welcome back to Bedworth, Grapple fans. In time for the big one. There he is, TV Gray. Now in the middleweight bracket, he's really put on quite a bit of weight since his lightweight days. Steve Gray from Peckham, Southeast London. Now well over the 12 stone mark. And here's his opponent this afternoon, Clive Ironfist Myers, just about the same weight as Steve Gray at the 12 and a half stone mark. Myers from Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica. And what about this next eight rounds should produce? These two top, really top masters of their profession. So, ladies and gentlemen, our second contest today is a special lightweight challenge match of eight three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, all the knockout will decide the winner. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you talk about the really great lightweight stars of wrestling, you talk about George Kidd, you talk about Johnny Saints, and you talk about Steve Gray! Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Gray's opponent this afternoon, proudly wearing the belt, of course, the European Championship belt. It belongs to a young man who is not only a super wrestler, but president of the British Arm Wrestling Federation as well, Iron Fist Clive Miles! <laughs> and your referee from this contest, ladies and gentlemen, from Liverpool, Mr. Frank Casey. Yes, Frank Casey used to uh, handling the tough boys but this time he'll have no problem with that the inside moves at all because neither of these men need to both masters of their profession as i said and really craftsmen at the wrestling game neither of them i don't think i've ever seen produce a rough move an inside move why should they need to they got all the holes at their command anyway Second away, first round. So eight three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Nothing in it weight-wise. Clive Myers, Jamaica. Steve Gray, London. Frank Casey from Liverpool in charge of it. can't see Myers falling for that one. <laughs> he did, though. Myers worried about something the spectators said the back there. I've never seen Clive Myers quite this angry, in fact. Lee Bamber is going to see him. Yes, the MC has gone to, and the stewards have got rid of them. So they've gone. Whoever said what has left the hall now, so Myers will continue. Paul Nelson is, and a quick head mare follow-up. Very angry now. You can see by his wrestling style, he's going fast for the quick killer move here. So that argument took a lot of that first round, but there are still seven more to go. What a great mover this fellow Myers is. <laughs> right of the bell, round one. <laughs> Which is why, of course, Stevie Gray from London is the perfect opponent for this man, Myers. Hardly anybody I can think of in the lighter weight brackets of wrestling could really come back at Myers. This is the man that can do it, and I wouldn't be at all surprised to see him do it here this afternoon. But what about it's going to be? Second away, round three. 
Round three, six to go, no score. Gray in the black trunks versus five iron fist miles. Side headlock and bring it down to the ground position, but it's not far enough. No, wait. Yes, nicely out, Gray. A full Nelson to a head may are very fast indeed, Myers. And ends up with a sort of forward <laughs> headlock ground position. Curious move, but he's got him there. Not orthodox, and therefore Gray is able to get out of it eventually. And Frank Casey, completely superfluous here, the referee, as far as warnings are concerned, of course, just in there for the count and the pinfalls and the knockouts. Oh, yes, quickly down, and it's a foot fold. He pressed for the back. It's a beautiful fold, and he caught it by the wheels. And uh, I bet Myers is the first one to smile and congratulate his opponent on that. There he is, grinning over. <laughs> Says, you really caught me that time. Magnificent. And this is how Gray did it. Both men had the advantage for a few seconds here. Gray comes off the ropes there, waits for a chance, goes for the reverse doubling Nelson, and that's it. Folding press locked. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the first fall of the match. It goes in favour of the Peckham Flyer, Steve Gray. Magnificent move. And here, here he comes over to congratulate him as I knew he would. Typical Clive Myers, that's grinning at the expertise of his opponent. Second away, round four. Five rounds to go as we start the fourth. Now then, <laughs> I don't know if Gray's going to have another chance to catch this man unawares. He wants uh, that European middleweight title that Clive Myers holds now. And if he gets a win here this afternoon, he'll have more chance of getting that title bout. Double wrist lock, back hammer to Myers. Yes, <laughs> Gray is up so fast. And even counters in the act of coming up. Nice tackle, nice flying tackle. It's over the top, cross price, and Myers in trouble. But a count of two only. All over the top. Gray in trouble now. Double leg Nelson. Folding press now to Gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed of this. And it's Myers again with a double knee, but kicked off at the last second. Even Frank Casey didn't know what was happening there. Didn't know where to start counting. He's spreading his arms as if to say, I have never seen anything so quick. And get the crowd reaction. Marvelous. That is really fast wrestling, that. Beautiful stuff. We've seen these two uh, last few years, of course, against each other before. But I don't think it's ever been as quick quite as these last, these first three rounds. That and the thighs, all right. Just a minute to go in this fourth round. My ass into the finger into lock. And looking up for the straight arm left. And there it is. But Gray falls off it, falls down the back. Double leg Nelson Gray. But now. The chop gets him off. You know, the ropes would have uh, called the break anyway. 30 seconds. 
That's a typical Myers attack there, getting into the figure four. If he wants it. Yes, come on. No, please, come on. He'll butt you from there. <laughs> right on the bell, to be quick. Ray won that little move. The man who started off boxing at school, his father, the well-known lightweight boxer, Fred Steen, his ring name, great football fellow, played for midfield for Microbe, the Sunday League, and of course teaches handicraft, specializing in carpentry, concentrates on the old age pensioners and handicap. Marvelous fellow, this one. Seconds away, around five. That's one of the reasons why he's so popular. The other is that he's a sportsman all the time in the ring, whether winning or losing, and he's a fantastic expert at this game of wrestling. One of the few lightweights that could be classed with the great George Kidd, Tony Saint. As the MC reminded us, Lee Bamber reminded us at the beginning of the bout. No way. No. So, with four rounds to go, and remember Steve Gray in the front there, leading still by one fall to nil. No question about it. Since he got into the middleweight bracket, he's putting a lot of strength moves here. And quite wor worries Myers with some of them. He's waiting for him to come underneath, but it was a little late on that one. Go with the top and reverse double leg. Nelson and Gray in trouble. Beautiful move by Myers as he came off the top row. Looks down at me as he said, I thought you'd like that one, and I did. One minute, 28 seconds, round five, equalizing four, Clive Myers. This is how he did it. And watch this again in slow motion. It really could be something. Slow down a bit. And here it is. Legs come up, over the shoulders, and the reverse double leg Nelson is there. So, ladies and gentlemen, in one minute, 28 seconds of this super contest, equalizing four in favor of Iron Fist, Clive Myers. Everybody clapping here. I mean, even the referee. <laughs> Everybody at ringside. I've, I've never seen anything like it, I don't think. Second away, around six. For sheer speed, agility, and superb execution of wrestling holes of all kinds. Three to go. One fall each. Yeah. <laughs> Smiles hasn't used any of his feet move yet. Or not noticeably. A ball lock, backhammer. Still got the backhammer, still got the double wrist lock. Oh, you'll never hold a cross press like that. That's where I'll get that shoulder blade off the canvas. He might with a double knee, but I don't think so. Not at this stage. Now well, the bridge forces Myers up. I don't think Myers will break it. Yes. No. The bridge is pretty solid. And the single for the throw, monkey climb. Double leg Nelson, folding press Gray. Got the hands, got the hands. Now, missed the hands. Thought he got those hands, then if he had, he would have stopped Myers sliding through. Takes his man over the gray over the top cross press and again counting two. And Frank Casey is leapfrog there as he goes. Myers goes over the top double leg Nelson again. 
Ay, 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 speed of this one. This is how Gray turned last time. And uh, yes! <laughs> down he goes. Over the top, folding press, and he's caught. And he's done it. Gray has defeated Myers. <coughs> Two falls to one in just one minute, 57 seconds of round six. And I think that's the first time we've ever seen Gray actually defeat Myers. Now he'll have a chance, maybe, at Myers' European belt. This is how he did it. Beautiful folding press coming off the ropes there. Really neat. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just before we officially declare the result, how about a big round of applause for two fine professional wrestlers? But in one minute, 28 seconds by two to one, the winner is Steve Gray. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how about one for a very sporty loser? What a contest! I'm first high five, ladies and gentlemen. So Gray the winner on this occasion. But we'll see that part again one day, I hope. I can't wait, and I'm sure you can. Now, after the break, it's tag team time once again, so that could be mayhem here in the ring. We'll be right back. I've studied my opponent's style, and it certainly suits me. I've come in a champion, and I'm going to go out a champion. This is the greatest moment of my life, and my mum and dad's going to be proud of me. Welcome back to the match for the British lightweight title. This is Kid McCoy, the challenger. Kid McCoy of Keatley, Yorkshire, and 11 stone exactly. Shaking hands with our MC, John Curry, and the referee, Ken Joyce. And here's the champion, Steve Gray, from Peckham, South East London, also at 11 stone, the British lightweight champion. And this is what this 8-3 minute round contest is all about here this afternoon. Can Kid McCoy, with his lack of experience, get the title from this man? The second championship contest at this lunchtime is for the British lightweight championship and belt to be wrestled over eight three minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Introducing in the red corner, the challenger from Keithley in Yorkshire, will you welcome Kid McCoy? <laughs> His opponent in the blue corner, the British lightweight champion from Peckham in London, Steve Gray. <laughs> and your referee for this contest, the former European welterweight champion from Rushton, Ken. Joyce! Well, Kim McCoy, the 17 year old from Keithley, a little ambitious to come up against in a title bout a man of Steve Gray's experience. But a uh, nice looking lad, and of course the son of the well known uh, heavy middleweight King Ben. So he's had tremendous training. Also, of course, with Marty Jones, Jim. Seconds away for round one. Here we go for round one, and Steve Gray, the champion, has held this British lightweight title most of the time for several years now. He's lost it occasionally, but won it back again. Will he lose it again here this afternoon against the 17-year-old from Yorkshire? This, this boy, the 17-year-old Mark McCoy, Kid McCoy, as he's known, from Keithley, is a tremendous young prospect, but whether he's ready for <laughs> trying to get a title off the man of Gray's ability, I don't know. We'll see over the next eight three-minute rounds with two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner here.
referee, of course, will have very little to do here as, as far as uh, even a private warning is concerned because for well, years I've known him, I've never seen uh, Steve Gray foul. Not intentionally. If he does, he apologizes profusely and makes us all believe he didn't mean it. And McCoy won't dare use any risky stuff against Gray at his age or you'll get it back. So it should be a very, very clean, very fast moving fight when this gets going. The uninitiated, Steve Gray in his usual shock of black hair plus the blue elbow protectors, black trunks, and silver boots, which he always wears. Just a minute to go. And that's what happens to a kid when he comes too near trying a folding press on Steve Gray. McCoy at least doing his fair share of attacking so far. Gray are just about to make it before the bell. Yes, there's just a couple of seconds left. Mark Kid McCoy from Keith Lee, Yorkshire. He's 18 in November of this year. So he's still quite well into the 17-year-old battle. First time we saw him was June 86 in a tag match with his father, King Ben. But we've seen him several times since. He's improving each time. Seconds away, round two. Round two, seven to go, no score. Two falls to decide this one. I apologize to Ken Joyce. No, 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 nobody will get anywhere with that one. Only McCoy's weight won't worry Ken Joyce too much. And as long as it doesn't interfere with his golf swing, it won't worry at all. Fanatic golfer, Ken. Eight handicap. A lot of wrestlers and ex wrestlers like Ken Joyce. Yes, Mick McManus is one of them, actually. But uh, he's quite a good golfer. <laughs> Coy begging for a Double finger interlock there. Steve, Steve Gray didn't want to know at all. Goes for the foot instead. Double handed toe hold with a knee stroke. A hand on the left knee of McCoy. McCoy thinking of trying to spring. Oh, he's going to try his rope trick. And he spins it nicely. And <laughs> not too short about that one. I don't think you've seen that one too often. But of course it did no harm because McCoy couldn't follow it up quickly enough. Just a minute left in round two. Well, holding the arm nicely against the joint with a double handed wrist lever. That's what Steve's get out. Oh, <laughs> so easy. Oh. What a counter move. Didn't really see him grab the kid's uh, left wrist then. Nicely out by McCoy. Hello, up head mayor. 
Ray ready for that one. Goes in very fast with a hand. Just eight seconds now. Round two. Steve Gray has not only held the British lightweight crown for quite a time, but also the British Worldweight Championship he held for a while. The boy who uh, still is associated with boys clubs, this ex-amateur boxer, now one of the top wrestlers in the lightweight bracket. Seconds away, round three. Probably in the world, let alone in this country. Round three, six to go, no score. Ray the champion, black trunks, black hair. Just waiting there for him to come away from the corner. And this time, Toy waiting for it beautifully. Beautifully done. Uh, oh, he got a count of two pinfall then. Oh, dude, that was close. And even Grave blows his cheeks out as if to say, nearly caught them, but not quite. Very good effort by McCoy. Steve Gray, of course, renowned for his surfboards. <laughs> McCoy is even thinking of trying one, I think, but because he hasn't got the feet right at all. I just got a folded one leg over the other. Oh, not even really a figure fold. No, Gray, I think, uh, I can't see the kid trying a surfboard on Steve Gray. He's the master of it. Just a minute left, round three. Still no real pinfall chance, except that one against the champion. Now, step over Toho, Gray. Gray going for the figure four leg lock now. The bar. <laughs> With his right leg. And here goes Steve Gray for the first submission if he can get. And the lead, oh. He's only got eight seconds. Can Gray got time to try it again? Or the bell will help the kid. Steve Gray was just going to try that lean back again. But uh, the bell just came at exactly the right moment for his opponent on that occasion. Six away, round four. Round four, five rounds to go and still no score in this title match. British lightweight title and belt held by Steve Gray of Peckham, South East London, and challenged by Kid McCoy of Keithley, Yorkshire, in the all-white leotard. Oh. Referee Ken Joyce. Oh. 
Oh, yes, the flying tackle by Gray. Over the top, cross press and trouble. Oh, nicely out of it. And Gray still got the upper hand here until the... Oh, oh doubling Nelson. Folding press. Well, the, and still Gray going. And still inside the ropes. Oh, just lost the chance there. Gray ran out of map. A couple of minutes left in the fourth. Gray really determined then to continue until he got that pinfall, but he didn't make it yet. But time yet in this fourth round. Well, unless he can get a submission, he'll never score from this, so therefore he must turn his man back to canvas if he can. Try for a pinfall count. Oh, Gray didn't mean to release that. And McCoy a bit worried about that left leg. Backing away. He's trying to keep it back out of the way as long as he can. Double finger in the lock. Perfect rustless bridge by Gray, and of course, this the kid has not sufficient weight to try and break that, I'm sure. <laughs> and the single foot is not a throw, but the folding press, Gray, but out of it, with plenty of time by the kid. <laughs> 25 seconds left, round four. And Gray. Feigning a single leg Boston then gets halfway and does one of his own speciality moves, which has the same effect. And it, it affected that left leg earlier on in this round. So he's trying it again. He's got a hurry. He's got just five seconds to go. Oh, now this kid. A bit worried about that uh, left leg of his in that round twice. Doesn't seem to be paying too much attention to it now. Anyway, this boy was trained by not only his father, that's King Ben, but also Marty Jones in his own gym. They are in Oldham there. What a future he's got. Seconds away, round five. Halfway through the bout, and still no score. Remarkably, Steve Gray's been near it on two or three occasions. Cannot get a result so far so kid doing very well indeed about gone halfway with no score. I really would have bet anything on Steve Gray getting a fall by now at least. Oh yes. <laughs> he goes this boy. And he's trying to cross press on Gray, the champion. And he's got it. I think he's got it. He's got it. Wow. <laughs> and Steve Gray, I hardly wait to see that again. Steve Gray just can't believe it. But, Let's see what happens there. This is really something. Gray goes to the ropes, confidently coming back underneath his man. Goes for the arm, but it misses it completely. The kid grabs him, grabs the left leg quickly on that folding press, and that's it. What a remarkably quick, beautifully done fall. In the fifth round, the first fall of the contest goes to the red corner, the challenger, Kid McCoy. <laughs> And it just took him 58 seconds to get that first fall in round five. Three to go, though. Seconds away for round six. And Steve Gray won't like this too much. I don't think I've ever seen him trail. Certainly not in a title fight. But he's trailing now against a 17-year-old with 
practically no experience. He turned pro in March 86, and Gray, of course, turned pro in the early 70s. I mean, this is quite a turn up, this one. If the kid can do it again, that will be something to see. But I don't think Gray will allow it. And a straight arm left. And that one done Gray's left shoulder much good. He's already trailing by one and L. Steve Gray started this round off a little wee bit anxious there. I don't think he expected this bout to give him too much problem. But when he hadn't scored in the first four rounds, and then when there was a score, it was by his opponent, that might have really surprised him. This time in Gray waiting for him, but couldn't do what he wanted to, couldn't counter it. Not what the kid intended, and it certainly wasn't what Gray intended. Nice knee drop by McCoy. This time he folds. Folds his man. Oh, really? Very nearly the equalizer there to Gray. So still, Kid McCoy in white. Still leading the champion. One four to nil. As we have one minute left in round six. And Gray continuing with this pressure move of his, hoping for a submission equalizer. Can't get it, so he's trying the surfboard. This is the one that Gray really specializes at. The surfboard backbreaker. He's got the legs right. The kid knows it. He's trying to keep the arms forward. There's no way he can prevent those arms from getting back into Steve's clutches there. Now he wants the left one. Can he get that left arm? The right one is set. He hasn't got time. He's got six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And for the third time, Steve Gray has got one of his special moves on and the bell saves his opponent. He'll just have to try it a little bit earlier. Steve Gray, the champion, Still trailing one to nil, right there. Surfboard almost completed, and the bell prevented him from getting that equalizing submission that he needs now so badly. Only two rounds to go. The kid, he must be still happy, leading. Second clear the ring for round seven. Rather amazed, but happy about leading over a man like Steve Gray. Now, in order to give himself a chance at uh, winning and therefore retaining his title, lightweight title here this afternoon, now this time he was waiting for it. He saw that coming, and he said he's not going to get away with that twice. And now the kid's gone down, and this could be the end. No, no, he's up, he's up, loosely. In trouble, but up. But he's got to continue. He had real back weakness there as he landed then. Now Gray must go for the equalizer in this round in order to give himself a chance for the winner in the next one. And now he's going for his surfboard again, Steve Gray. He's got much more room this time and much more time. Equalizing submission in round seven. Finally, Gray equalizes with the submission. Let's see how the kid hurt his back. He tried his rope trick, as is fast becoming known as his own rope trick, hoping that Gray would come underneath. But this time, Gray dodged. 
and he goes all the way back, landing from that top rope onto his back. And that's what caused, really, the equalizing submission in the seventh round. One round to go. Can the kid hold on here? In the seventh round, the equalizing submission of the contest goes to the blue corner, the champion, Steve Gray! <laughs> Play the rating for the eighth and final round. There we go, eighth and final round, and now of course Steve Gray can retain his title here this afternoon. Mind you, of course, if he does, if it is a draw, this he still retains his title. Gray, but he'd rather do it more convincingly than that. Can the kid still stay with him after that terrible back landing on his back that we saw in the last round? He doesn't like the idea of coming forward too fast, and who blames him? Gray is going to go straight for back weakness if he can there. Single leg Boston is one of them. He'll, Gray will be after a surfboard all the way through this last three minutes. And Kid McCoy knows it. Double leg Nelson gets a counter one only. Leg chop sends him away. A couple of minutes left in this boat. And Gray on the attack again. There it is. The surfboard is attempted once more. And doesn't the kid know about it? He's trying to reach that bottom rope. The right leg is just about set. Right arm is there. The crowd, as you saw, that kids can't bear to watch this kid, whether he'll get up from this or not in time. No, Gray, Gray is going to release him. Can't reach the left arm, and therefore Gray releases. He has plenty of time in this round, this final round, too. He's got a whole minute to go. But uh, for some reason, he got the wrong position. He couldn't quite get the surfboard right, not the way he wanted it. So he released. Back to the start, effective, but uh, won't be a weakness sufficient to worry this kid at the moment. Flying tackle, kid. It's a two, but again the ref gets it. McCoy landing on Ken Joyce's back three times in this bout so far. 25 seconds to go, final round. Again, the single leg bossing. Uh, Gray's speciality move, which is almost like a single basin. He's got 15 seconds. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. He's too late. It's a draw, but of course, Gray retains his title. comes the belt. Ken Joyce laying it round. Steve Gray who still retains it after the draw. After eight rounds of an excellent fought championship contest, each wrestler scoring one fall apiece, the referee's decision, it's a draw. <laughs> Ken McCoy and still British lightweight champion Steve Gray. Still the British lightweight champion. There it is. It's goodbye from all of us here at Broxbourne. We hope you've enjoyed it. Next Saturday, a tag team knockout tournament. That should be something. Till then, have a good week. Till next week.